Well, hello folks, welcome to episode 5 of our 10th season here at Regro FC on the Custom Profit. This is the Latvian job and we're back at our £13 million game. Yes, it is the Champions League playoffs. And as you can see, we're playing Copenhagen. Yep, folks, it's the Champions League playoffs. We're going to have a look how we got there. Uh, we've been a bit lucky with the draw, to be honest. Um, it's been a, been an easy easier one. Um, we've had a bit of transfer business. Some of the big, uh, a couple of big stars have left the club, but I think we've adequately replaced them. Um, and the big question about the hundred percent record in the league: lots of things to answer. Let's uh, let's jump on in. We'll start with transfer business, I think. Uh, as you will be able to see on the right, we have two players leave. Denis Rogovs is the least interesting of those two. He's gone to Dagvapils. Um, he is. Uh, it was a pretty poor midfielder he's about 27 i think we said i think i did say probably should get rid of him the the other player we got rid of was our goalkeeper abda who well a few people didn't necessarily think he was he was as good all the time we sold him for 11.5 million pounds which i think is a pretty good sale thing that you don't see there is that Chiardio his loan finished and i because i wasn't playing him in the right position the club basically said uh -uh you're not allowed to extend his loan so we've lost the midfield dynamo of Chiardio so how have we replaced that well we've spent a bit of money look we've spent that all that 11.5 million pounds um, on a couple of players uh, both from Y Dad Casablanca in uh, Morocco uh, the first one is a midfielder who is only uh, two and a half stars at the minute um, I think he has got a lot of space to grow he's not he's not amazing but he certainly is capable and he adds something to us i i think he's i think the star rating is a little bit harsh for him he's a very very solid midfielder the other player is a goalkeeper jahari who is basically here to replace uh, abda he, a moroccan for a moroccan uh funnily enough and i think he's a pretty good goalkeeper um three and a half stars at the minute potential to rise to uh four and a half uh, and he's yet another young player at the club the a average age at the club is you know, he's got to be in the low 20s he's got to be about 22 we've got so many quality young players and we are developing them all the time so some some ins and some outs there let's have a look how we things have gone on in the league first of all so you folks last saw the 11 nil thrashing over rfs well we've been on pretty good run we have continued that 100 percent record we could get season number three it's come close to getting a draw in a couple of these matches um we're not quite at top peak form at the minute but we beat noah 2-0 uh misu and iliev rfs again 5-0 this time iliev lisinovs with a couple popovich and the center back there uh Alder, 5-0 again Aldericus krollis with two and the center back again spartax away this was a, a toughie, Aldericus and Krollis. Then Tuckums, who surprisingly held us to a 1-0 draw. It was just an Iliev penalty, 1-0 uh, at home. That was disappointing. And then we had two tight games against two of the better sides in the league, Lipaya. We beat them 2-1, Diego and Krollis with the goals. Uh, and Valmiria, we were, were late on scoring the goals. We won 2-0, had a goal disallowed, but Aldericus and Popovic got the goals. That was... A little bit worrying those those last couple of games and i'm hoping we will not suffer from that so how's things been going in the champions league well as you can see very very well we took on valenage who are these <laughs> i don't even know who they are uh valenage of albania and they really didn't put up much of a fight we beat them 13-0 in the first leg lots of goals uh Aldericus hat trick daff hat trick Krollis four goals hadrif two and almeida one the home leg well this was a closer match Erglis got himself a hat trick and almeida with a couple of goals second uh, round we played valor from iceland could have been a harder tie they had olympia of i forget where they're from who've played a few times but somehow Valor won through this match. 6-0 in the first leg. Iliev with two. Aldrikis. Krollis with a couple. And Erglis. Lots and lots of goals. And then 2-0 away. 
Elise Novs and Crawley. So all going very well. And then we've just played Universita Craiovia of Romania, 3-0 at home. Misi with a couple in Erglis, and then the away leg, 4-0. Uh, Daf, Krollis with a couple, and Mendia. And that is where we sit. And we come in here against Copenhagen. We played them uh, once before in the uh, Europa League playoffs. Uh, we, we won that 5-0 in the first match, and then lost 1-0 in the second. Right then, folks, uh, the other thing to say is looking at the other teams who got uh, the other Latvian sides, unfortunately, we only had one Latvian side progressing. Valmiria got through their first round match and then lost to Dundee, although it was a really tight match. They drew the home, the away leg, 1-1 and then lost at home 2-1. So they could have done a little bit better there. Right, folks, should we play Copenhagen? Are we going to be the proud recipients of £13 million? I hope so. Right, here we go. I've been fiddling around with the team, so the team should be sorted out. Krollis is injured, which is a bit of a problem. But this is the home leg. This is the one that we do need to get one or two goals. So team is Popovic, Odorikis and Misu. Uh, leading the line, Ilya Franco and Almeida uh, across the midfield. And then at the back, Messina, Mendia, Stankus and Yauzems uh, across the back line. Do we play Stankus? I think we do. Let's do that. Uh, yeah, Yahari in goals be the first time you have seen him. Um, I think Hydera is on the bench. I'm not sure. I think I keep forgetting to play him, to be perfectly honest. Um, I don't know why. I think it's really nice that we're able to rotate the squad quite much more effective than we used to be. So we have been able to put a decent side out. Let's uh, see how, how we go. Starting out with the early highlight, Aldrikis, Franco, a great player in the centre. Messina, I thought he wasn't actually going to be much of a, a player, but he's, he's taken that position as his own now. Franco, Vieira struggling to get enough games there, and he's been frustrated with that. Stankers, it's a beautiful through ball. And Misu should have done better, I think. Well, early, <laughs> early battering of the um, Copenhagen goal, but we're yet to actually find our way in. Header over there from Aldrikis. Had a lot of shots, but not seen much for it. And uh, well, looks like they might be getting away with this. It was a corner. They've had one shot in Toto, and. Um, it's, it must have been from distance. They've, again, tried to find their front man, but very, very isolated. And we, we come again, or we thought we come again. Putting pressure on them. Lurch. <laughs> oh, dear. And Iliev, I mean, it's, I don't quite know what's going on here. Misu's done well. Is he going to find a ball? He does into Popovic and he fires it over the top. We should be doing better with these chances, folks. Well, a dominant performance in the first half, but we have no goals to show for it yet. We've got players who can come on. And we'll have to see. Maybe we'll have to do that. But we might go a little more positive. We have a header. It's just gone over from Mendia. Another chance. Yahori has not had anything to do yet, so um, doing all right down the wings. It's just the strikers who have not been got their finishing boots on, it seems. Ilyev Popovic, terrible ball from Messina, and they uh, they just fire it down the pitch, and it's Mendy who just picks it up casually. What's he going to do? He plays a, well, I guess there was no real risk there. There's no, none of their team anywhere near us, but uh, Almeida, it's a beautiful ball, and Popovic, is that offside? It looked like it might be the whole team seemed to be well ahead of him. Looking at the uh, the goal review, the goal has been awarded, that is a massive surprise. I did not expect this. Almeida, he must have got that spot on, yeah. He just sort of saw it there. He, he just made the run as the ball was played. Spectacular run from Popovic. Very, very good. And uh, maybe a chance here. Lurch puts it in, but uh, Stankus removes the pass. Lurch in again. 
and again we clear it but just don't seem to be in any worry here misu back to almeida back to misu all three kiss and it's Ilyev and it's 2-0 and that's an important goal i think we are absolutely deserving of a 2-0 lead i believe we've been very very good Right, we're going to see this highlight and then I'm going to make some changes. There's a few tidal eggs on the pitch. Almeida is one of them. That could have been that could have been a um, a penalty, I thought, potentially. But we are looking at this for an offside. Ball straight through to them, and he just no, it's disallowed that one. Uh, to be honest, that one looked better than the first one, but it must have been close. Nicely done. I mean that, yeah, he's, he's well offside, but yeah, so we're going to make a couple of changes here. So Mendy is going to be playing on the right side. We're going to put the centre back in, in the middle. We're going to bring, we'll bring Tariq on, on his wondrous free kick, taking foot. Messina has got the throw into Ilyev, who stayed on. Popovic, Ilyev's going to have a shot. Oh, it's just wide. We are playing exceptionally well again, as we do seemingly week in, week out in Europe. We've, we've had some really great performances, I have to say. So a few tired legs. Uh, Aldrichis is looking a little bit, a little bit tired. We'll bring Lysinovs on. We certainly know... He is an able replacement for Aldrich. He's not tall, but um, or as tall, but he's he's certainly a strong player who can find others around him. 85 minutes on the clock. It is a goal kick to them. A goal would be massive for their hopes. You feel 2-0, the way we're playing, it's going to be hard to recover from that. 1-0 or 2-1, yeah, you never know. You never know. Tariq, is he going to find the pass? It's Franco. Iliev, oh, it's the post. Oh, it's so close. Oh, we've given everything here. You feel maybe we could have got another goal out of this. And we have, you know, Misu puts it past McCrory. Did get a hand to it, but my God, that was a weak old hand. Oh, dear. So we're 3-0 up. Oh, we're looking good for getting um, a decent chunk of money in uh, in the Champions League. I know there's another another match to go, but 3-0 up. It's going to be hard to come back from that, I think. Anyway, folks, we're going to come back for that match. We've got a, um, a cup match in between. We're away against La Paya for that. Uh, so uh, we'll play that. I'll let you know how we got on, and then we'll come back for the uh, second round match against, or the second leg match against Copenhagen. Don't miss it. Well, here we are. We're back for the second leg. We've flown out to Denmark, to the capital, seen the the big bridge across the across the river to Malmo. Um, but we are hopefully going to come away with a spot in the Champions League. They're going to have to do something special if they want to beat us. We've just played in the cup and beat the Paya one 0 Lisnov's got the goal. They did have a goal disallowed. We had lots of chances, but they did have a goal disallowed uh, just for offside. So it could have been. A um, could have been a loss there, but we did also see a, a thing come up. We've got now got 17 uh, consecutive wins in the cup, which is apparently a record. We're all 105, 106, I think, games won in the league on the trot. That's a record, of course. Oh, let's do this thing. Let's uh, let's get in and try and get into the Champions League proper. Right, so this is what we're going with. We've got Krollis, Aldrichis and Popovic, Ilyev, Franco, Almeida, Berkic, the centre-back, Mendia, and Yauzens across the back line, and Johari in goal. Oh, it's, it should be enough, shouldn't it? It should be enough. Let's go and do this. Let's get, uh, get into that Champions League proper. And we've got the draw then to come after that. If we don't get in this, then we'll, we'll look at the draw for the, um, the other one. But... I shouldn't say it, but I'm feeling pretty damn confident at the minute. I don't think anything can get in our way. They've got a big crowd come for it. But I don't think they are good enough to beat us 3-0 at, at their place. They cannot see it happening. 
which is a stupid thing to say I know early highlight it's down uh, down their end though which is uh, what we like the center back marauds forward Ilyev is he gonna have a shot no Yazems has picked it up on the right side ball in and old Drikis <sighs> you'd think someone of his quality would have put that one away but he missed it that would have been nice wouldn't it 10 minutes on the clock McCrory fires it up the pitch but again the center packs that we have just pick it up Popovich's pace his finish doesn't um, match the pace though <laughs> so uh, we've had a couple of decent chances and just not looked not look that good actually when firing the uh, firing the shot in Nyberg on the right side that's I didn't even know where that one lurched just blasted it over the back I think right another chance Burkic throws it into Ilyev Franco chips it in and the goalkeeper screws it up royally Popovich just passes it past the goalkeeper not quite sure what this is about offside they're saying don't know about that and they've got VAR in there it's disallowed come on they got away with that one let's have a look at that oh that is harsh that is harsh particularly oh yeah I suppose but oh it's close making us work for our, uh, our bacon here lovely ball in it's Crawlis hits the bar post even they are hanging on at this point hanging on to being 3-0 behind we go again 35 minutes on pass 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 for oh and nobody's on Almeida and finally we get the ball in the back of the net they were marking all of our forwards and it was Almeida who came up from nowhere no one marking him at all uh, found a huge lump of space in the middle where's he come from where is he where does he come from where does he go where does he come from cotton eye joe he just comes from nowhere and in it goes in it goes well done mr almeida one nil born in on aggregate folks right on the uh the blip of half time oh that was what a, i mean that was on the line what's what's this it doesn't help me it looks like it's way over the line apparently it's not a goal even though it looked like it was a, a definite goal we're 1-0 up xg's been it's okay we've had two or three chances of reasonable quality i'm happy i'm happy with that i don't think i don't think we can moan at all we've created decent chances we could be a lot better up than they are they've made three subs wow wow they're not happy and why would they be right here we go franco's now got it he plays it back to mendia back to franco armada he's been a key man today crawlis and there he goes it's two nil and there was never really much in this was there I was, you know copenhagen decent side but we have moved on folks we've moved onwards past the likes of this side we are a different beast now it seems i think we'll make a change i think we'll bring Vieira on as a right back he can do that we'll also bring lisinovs on for old you know, old Rick is he's getting on but my god it's like you, you, he's not someone you want to get rid of that easily we've extended his contract I think it's the right thing to do we've extended all of the forwards contracts all of the Latvians anyway so uh, yeah so we've got rid of uh, Cross has come off Misu is on and looks like Ivan Jamie I thought they were gonna get a chance there Frozier has run away with the ball they're gonna to have to do something utterly spectacular to get back into this bojo there it's a decent opportunity maybe here they're, they're doing well and we've cleared it fantastically there oh we don't get on the end of it though guando oh 
Fiera. He loses out to Lurch. <laughs> Kraus. Oh my. I think my cat could finish better than that, and I don't even have a cat. <laughs> We're still going with the chances, and uh, we, we lost out with the header there, but Johari's got it. He's not had much to do. But Jekic. That's a lovely ball to Misu. Now they've got a problem. Blue players flooding in. But we don't pick up anybody. And Vieira's had to come away with it. So we're regrouping. Mendia. Centre-back. I think we've had about three centre-backs with unpronounceable names. Uh, Misu. And Lusinovs. He gets the shot in. But Popovic just pops in the rebound. And we're 3-0 up here. So 3-0 in the first leg. Looks like we're going to be at least 3-0 in the second leg. I'm playing probably better than we did in the first leg, which is interesting. Right, not long left to go, folks. And uh, we've just let Kraus in. We don't want to give him a goal. Goes for the lob, but a little bit too much on it. Well, we were getting a bit tired at the end there, but we've won this 6-0. We have been magnifique. We really have over in this European campaign so far. It is hard to criticise. Oh, right, before we get into anything, I just wanted to highlight this. We do look like we might have a couple of players coming through who look okay. To a centre back, a minimum of two centre backs who look promising, and one winger that looks handy. And then, yeah, so I'm excited to see what our A star centre backs look like. As, uh, it looks like we've got, um, uh, what is his name, the Welsh guy, Michael Sheen, <laughs> as our head of youth development. <laughs> right, come on, right, on to the group stages. Not sure who we want. Well, I was a little con confused why I hadn't actually seen the other scores, and this is why they were playing on a different day. You can see some interesting results, I suppose, here. Uh, Spartak and Feyenoord go through from the league path playoff. Uh, probably unsurprisingly Rangers a bit of a battle against Red Star uh, but they were victorious in the end Jablonic maybe a bit of a surprise uh, victor over Dynamo um, Dynamo Zagreb uh, that's a that's a bit of a surprise late late goal for them uh, put gave them gave them victory so I, I imagine they're the weakest side and Salzburg no idea why they're still qualifying for this doesn't make any sense whatsoever um, because they won the Euro Cup like a couple of seasons ago. I, I, I would have thought there's no way they should need to qualify. But, you know, there we go. Whatever reason, Austria aren't doing well. Even though that team that we played, the, who was it, Wolfsberger, the Austrian version, um, got all the way through to the, what was it, the last 16 of of the Euro Cup, Europa League last, last season? Don't know. Don't know. Right, folks, let's go on and let's see who we're going to get in the draw. There's the 13 million quid. We will take that. Finances, they were a bit hit recently, and that's made them look very, very healthy. Back over 50 million in the bank. Very, very nice. And we know there's lots more money to come in during the, uh, the process. Right, we are seeded fourth. Wholly unsurprising there, but are we the bottom seeds? Let's have a look. It doesn't always make sense in terms of the the ranking. Why have they got a little thing by it? So we're fourth. I'm going to send the groups out first. We are with the top ranked fourth seed team. We're not that far away from uh, Atalanta at all. That's something, isn't it? So that makes it does make sense. So 132. So why are these? Explain to me in the comments why are Ajax a top seed when they've got that as their coefficient? Why is that? I'm confused because everything else seems to line up, but that doesn't. Jablonic. Whoa. Right. I'm going to draw the the groups and then I'm going to come back for and we'll have a look which group we want us to fit in. Right, folks, folksy folks, it's, we've got, you know, they come out 
and they're they're all horrible. <laughs> I, I I don't know. This one here, I feel we ain't going to win the thing, but there might be points for us there. I also think. Let's not forget we beat. Um, well, we almost beat Juventus. We did beat Atletico Madrid. So maybe that one, I'd, but I'd like to play someone different. In fact, that group's not bad, is it? Porto, we've got a chance against. Leverkusen, we've beaten before. Atletico Madrid, we've beaten a bunch of times. Shakhtar, we, I reckon we, we could beat. Feyenoord, we'd give a good game. Don't think we've got a chance against Liverpool or Inter. Zenit, yeah. So it's nothing... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. They all look scary, but when you think about it, maybe we do have a chance. We are a much better side than we were when we first started doing this. Right, let's see where we finish up. I think I drew all teams, but um, that's not a problem. Where are we? We are right at the bottom here. Paris Saint-Germain, Arsenal, Shakhtar and us. That's an interesting one that is an interesting one I would have preferred maybe that one or even this one I mean Ren we absolutely battered them previously didn't we um, that one but yeah that's an interesting one I don't think we're gonna get past Paris Saint-Germain and Arsenal they are a a, 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 strong, a strength too much for us but Shakhtar hopefully we've got enough to finish third in the group it'll be awesome we're going to be seeing some group games next up if you've enjoyed this episode hit the like button subscribe if you're new we'll see you for the next one goodbye